Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today we're talking about the second anime of the spring 2021 season ending. Yes, indeed. This is the second one that I'm watching, personally, that uh, <clears throat> has completed. All 12 episodes are out. Just finished watching the last one, and my god, I gotta say, mwah, chef's kiss. Love it. Absolutely brilliant. And it is, of course, <clears throat> Trapped in a Dating Sim. The world of Otome games is tough for mobs. Ah, oh, man. So if you remember back to the, uh, the first impression I did of it, you'll remember that I particularly read this manga. Oh, yes. Yes, indeedly do. And, and, and let me just say, the manga pretty much covers what's covered here. The, the manga goes into a little more depth. There's a couple more like extra added scenes. Um, more like detail is given and stuff like that, right? Uh, especially at the, the end. I, I can give a very good example of this. The very last fight that happens. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a duel kind of fight. Uh, but the robot that the main character Leon is fighting against, it looks way different compared to how it looks in the manga. In the manga, it looks like a straight up Gundam, like absolute brilliant, crazy Gundam. And uh, it's like a mishmashed thing. But in the, uh, in the anime, it looks a lot more trash. To be honest, it looks a lot simplified. It doesn't have as much armor and bulkiness to it as the manga does. So I can understand when it comes to like animating something, you're not going to want to, you know, have something huge and bulky that you have to do all the time, especially if it's just like a one off, like random um, machine that you're not going to have to do again, you know, so I can understand why that happened. But other than that, everything that happened in the manga when I was reading it uh, basically happened in the anime. Of course, like I said, there was some scenes that were omitted and stuff like that. Uh, but if you'll remember, it's the story of Leon, a guy who gets isekai'd into an Otome game, and it happens to be the Otome game that he had to play for his sister because she was blackmailing him. And uh, <clears throat> it's a horrible pay-to-win game where it's a society in which women stand at the top and the, the men are at the bottom. And, like, essentially, if... Uh, you suck, then you're going to be wifeless for like your entire life. Or if you're lucky, uh, you're going to get married off to like a rich noble woman who will send you off to war. So you die and then she can collect your uh, like not inheritance, but your insurance, I guess is what we can call it. Uh, a horrible place for like background characters who aren't the main characters like uh, the prince and stuff like that. Uh, but our character like the name implies, is just like a background character, someone who's never even mentioned in the game itself. However, our character decides, screw this, I'm going to use my knowledge of the game to uh, find a good wife, live a normal life, and then kind of go from there, right? He doesn't aim to like be a protagonist. He just wants to find a normal wife who's not a like complete psychopath and live his life. However, because of his knowledge of the previous, of, of the game and stuff, he keeps doing stuff that's unnecessary. And uh, that leads to him sort of actually being the protagonist, while everyone else around him is just like a background character, <laughs> to be honest. But the thing I love the most about this show is just the utter, like, arrogance that the main character just oozes from his whole being. The fact that he, like, talks down to people because he has knowledge of the game and he's using it to get an overpowered, like, mech and an overpowered, like, spaceship kind of thing. And it is just great how he, like, antagonizes everyone, makes everyone his enemy, and it, it's just beautiful. Um, I will say, out of all of the shows this season, this one has had me laughing out loud the most. 
out of all of them. Like even the comedy ones or ones that are supposed to be comedy that I'm watching. Um, this one, this one in particular, just has me rolling uh, because of the various scenes that occur in it and because of the main character's like just arrogant attitude. Um, which I love that his, uh, his mech's name is like Aragons or something like that. It's like arrogance, but like fantasized or something like that. I don't know how you would say it. It's spelled differently and whatnot, but it's basically arrogance, which makes so much sense for him to pilot a mech called arrogance. And it's just like, mm, beautiful. But uh, it, it's a glorious, glorious show. I love it. Uh, I really hope there's a second season. Unlike some shows that have like a to be continued or see you next season at the end. Um, this one didn't have that. And I, I really, really hope that it does get a second season. I don't know if there's enough material for it yet. I don't know how many volumes there are in the light novel that it's adapted from. Uh, but from the manga, it covers chapters, I think it was 1 to 38. And it's only like part of chapter 38. Uh, so with that in mind, since the manga is only at chapter 43, we have a lot that we need. But then again, I think the light novel, it covers volumes one to two of the light novel, and I don't know how far along the light novel is. So if the light novel has four volumes, we might be able to see a second season uh, relatively soon, if it does good, but maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really hope it does, because it, it's a really good one. And I want to see more of this main character just being completely arrogant and like a badass and all this. It, it's just ugh, chef's kiss. Just complete chef's kiss. The characters are great in it too. Um, the ones who are, you know, supposed to be villains, you know, act like villains. They're just shitty human beings. The ones who are heroines are just great as well. Um, at first, they can be kind of like bad or whatever but then as leon you know shows them that they're an idiot uh they end up becoming better people because of leon acting arrogant and shit and he also unites like his classmates who hate him like against him and stuff like that so at various times it comes in handy when he is able to do that and be like go do this because I'm going to do it because I'm better than you. And so like, they'll be like, oh, fuck you, guy. I'm going to do this too. <laughs> you know, we can like motivate people because they hate him, right? It, it, it's great. It is so beautiful. Honestly, it's definitely one of my top ones this season. I will say, like out of all the shows that have come out this season, it's, it's definitely like... Top five, I will say. Definitely top five. Like, there's a lot of good ones. The Skeleton Knight, uh, Shield Hero second season. You got Spy X Family. All that good stuff. But I would say this one particularly might be third. Yeah. Maybe third. I know it's hard to do a ranking without like finishing all of the season of all the rest of the shows because you never know if they're going to have like a final episode that just screws up the entire thing like has happened in previous seasons for certain shows. And it's like, well, why did I even bother watching, you know? But this one, just brilliant. Loved it. Loved the whole thing. And so definitely check it out. Yeah, like I said, I hope there's a second season at some point in the future. But if there's not, well, there's always the manga, which I'm going to start reading tonight, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch up to chapter 43, because once I announced, heard, the, uh, heard the anime announcement, I stopped reading the manga at, like, I think chapter, like, 38, right around there, actually. So I actually read the entire thing that the anime was based on and then stopped once I heard the, oh, the anime's coming out. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but it did end right where I thought it would. Uh, because it's like the culmination of a uh, of a battle that happens. So it, it makes perfect sense. Regardless, everyone, thank you all for listening. And next time, whenever the next series ends, which might be tomorrow, 
potentially. I forget what comes out tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, let me see. Okay, there's nothing tomorrow because tomorrow should have been. I think, was it Arnsan was tomorrow? Mondays? I think so. And then Tuesday, we have the 12th episode of the uh, Yusha Yamemasu, which is the, the one with the. I'm going to stop heroing that one. So we'll talk about that one uh, Tuesday. Or, well, I guess it would be the day after Tuesday for you guys. But yeah. Thank you all for listening. And until next time, I will catch you later. Bye for now.